up, brother? All right, this is Dragon with Metal Nexus. I'm with Drew Smith from Arcaris. That's right. Yeah, got it, nailed it. Let's jump right into it. Uh, we are at Doomed and Stone Fest, the first inaugural one. Yep. How does it feel to be representing Indianapolis itself? Man, it's awesome. Like, there's a really good scene here that people just don't seem to really want to recognize. Like, there's a lot of fame from like Texas because they got a great bunch of great bands out there. Maryland's famous. They got a bunch of people from like Wisconsin, West Virginia area. It's, it's really good. But there's a like every band you've seen. Like the first half of this, this basically every band, like the last three bands have been like locals. It's like they've been crushing it. Yeah. Like not even myself included. But, like Thorax and Drew. Conjure is the loudest band I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, they were great. I mean, they just, uh, they, just they just killed it. And who uh, Gorganthron's not local, but they're from near the area, and they're like. Super, super fantastic. They were really like, good. You turned like, me on to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. Yeah. Yeah. We're one of our oldest friends. They're rad. Like we've been playing them for like years. Yeah, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's been a really good. Line yeah, time, man. I'm proud uh, representing you. Definitely. Render unto Arcturus has been out a little over a year now, man. Yep. What was, just over a year. Yeah. How was the reception of it? I think it's done great. Before yeah. Our review of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys did a review of us. We mm -hmm. much appreciate that. And then uh, Doomstone did. Melissa was putting this all on. And then a couple other reviews. Um, Steve Howe from uh, was Alice's the Sun. Alice's the Sun. That's right. Um, I'm trying to think, but I can't remember. It's been a year ago. Yeah, it's been good. Like people enjoy it. Um, we did a little like yearly annual sale mm -hmm. this last week, and like this dropped down to a dollar just because like whatever. Huh. Just to you know get it out in people's hands. Just yeah. why not? Which people should <laughs> <laughs> jump, jump on that. You can't beat that. Yeah. Uh, are you all recording any new material yet? I'm actually supposed to go in and record some tracks Sunday. Okay. So hopefully, hopefully by the end of the end of winter, we should have something done. Okay. We'll be ready to release it sometime in spring. Hopefully, hopefully. Okay. Well, speaking of that, I noticed you all are down to a trio. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The what render is released under uh, uh, four of us. My my one of my best friends Matt and Hayden, we started the band together. We our original band was from Evansville. And then we moved up here after some time and started this new band, Arcaris. So he's one of my oldest friends as far as music goes. He, uh, he's been in uh, medical school, all I've known him, going for his doctorate and whatnot. And he finally finished all his stuff and he got transferred out to uh, San Diego. So he's an a, a orthopedic surgeon in the Navy in San Diego. It's like, wow. this guy, like, <laughs> he doesn't need me. <laughs> yeah. well, sounds like you yeah, have music sort of uh, yeah, yeah. You know, secondary. He, he now, loved it. Like he turned me on to this. Like he's the reason our cares was started. Like we co-founded it. But, like Matt was the one who, who who asked me to help him start it. Okay. And if that for me, it was like if that for him telling me to do this, like I would be here doing what I'm doing right now. So it's like Matt, I owe it all to Matt. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like yeah, but like and I knew when we started our cares, I knew that his time was terminal with us because yeah. he was going to finish and then go. Live his, live his life with his wife out in San Diego. Yeah. Like, so it was amicable. Bye. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Good, okay. two, send me some surfing photos, you know? <laughs> well, that's good that it was on good terms. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're still friends. We still talk all the time. Yeah. He actually, I sent him some pictures of Greg Anthron tonight because they're old buddies. He's like, oh, man, I wish I was there. It's like, yeah, <laughs> man. Well, I noticed, you, of course, you all have been gradually, you all have been gradually getting out and playing in larger vicinities yeah. and areas. How have you enjoyed that, obviously? It's so fun. My two, my two favorite passions in life is music and travel. And to be able to combine that, it's just kind of like, why would you not choose to do that? You know, why would you not try to combine both your passions in one? So I love it. I love doing it. We have not played super far. But we did Louisville and then with Horace Burner, who's playing tomorrow night, who are just phenomenal dudes and really good musicians. Yeah. Like, they're so they're good. killer. It's, it's, it's dumb watching them play. We toured, we toured with them through like a three day weeknight, weekend kind of thing through Ohio last February. And then, uh, we played Louisville, Evansville quite a bit. Um, I'm trying to think where else. We got some stuff lined up in Chicago and Madison, Wisconsin next month uh, with some really cool bands uh, from those local places. And then we're going to play uh, Fort Wayne and then uh, where else? Detroit. So we're trying, to get yeah. we're trying to get out. We're trying to get down south soon. Like ideally, I should do south during the winter, but for some reason I keep booking north shows. Yeah. So I'm stupid, I guess. <laughs> yeah, especially with winter on the <laughs> onset of winter, man. I don't think, man. Like I, I'm so busy and focused on trying to do this that I'm like. Yeah, cool. Like we did a show, and my drummer's like, "It's Christmas." I'm like, "So, like, can we play this show or not?" Like, what do you do? He's like, well, "I got family stuff." I was like, "Why?" Yeah. yeah. It's like we gotta play. We should play shows. Like, well, it's winter. It's like, yeah. Oh yeah, I guess we should Just probably. Season. We should probably not drive the trailer into the snow. <laughs> let's say, let's smoke, talk about three words: <laughs> blue oyster cult. <laughs> yeah. I, I, what else? Yeah, yeah. 
Because I know, of course, you and I have talked before. We have, yeah. We first talked. Have you seen seen the Stone Age yet? I know I asked you that. The movie. Oh, no, I've not. I got a list of damn copy of it. You need to. You need to put it in my hand. see it, man. If I I have my hand, I'll watch it. But it's like, I'll be like, ah, tell him to watch it. Man, you need to make an effort to see it just because of bullshit. There's like five music videos I got to watch. My buddy told me that the new Rush movie is really, really, really good. Time Stands Still, I think is what it's called. I seen it. I guess it's really phenomenal. It's like anything Rush related, I'm. Yes, I'll sign me up. Uh. I know Boyster Cult's been an influence. Mm-hmm. Uh, what has been other influences for you as far as band-wise or musician-wise? I mean, the sword is definitely the most prevalent. I mean, we got to open for those guys, which was just, like, that's the dream that you just talk about when you're, like, just goofing off in a band, like, maybe we'll open for these guys one day. The other reason we were, like, me and Matt, on our original band, we were playing a bunch of stuff, and it was just really, really eclectic, but, like, not good eclectic, just kind of, like, we had, no, <laughs> we had no direction. We were just playing songs for the sake of playing songs. Yeah. And then we found the sword, and we're like, oh, this is what we want to do. A good this template. Is, yeah. yeah, and that was right before Warp Riders came out, which is just like fast, thrashy, stoner, doom. Yeah. Like all of the genres, just enough of each thing to just kind of like be its own fun metal. Definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah, phenomenal yeah. lot. Just riffs. You know, that's, that's all I really do is just like in the box riffs, just, mm. just however I feel going. That's what they do. Mm-hmm. It's awesome. Oh, so Arcris is recording Numa. Or Karis yeah, is go. recording. Either way, we don't Doom. care. <laughs> it works. We know what you're talking about. You know what I mean? We're that kid that's going with a weird, weird name. It's like if I hear you, he's like stuttering. It's like he's probably talking to me. <laughs> gotcha. So there is new material in the works. Yes, and it's written. An album. It's okay. written, and we're ready to roll. And it's gonna be kind of special. So it's gonna be a little bit different. That's good. That's like not like a little, the music wise, it's gonna be a little different. But like what it is is going to be is kind of an interesting thing. So once we can release some information, we'll do so. Any conceptual themes in this one? It's actually it's all it's it's a concept album. Okay, so the lizard fish will return. <laughs> he will. This is this is like a special like almost like imagine like a DLC kind of thing like it's extra bonus feature stuff. The the stories we developed with the lizard fish and like the Alice L. Miller series will continue on like okay. the full length we're gonna do soon. But this is gonna be a small EP. Okay. Well, we look forward to it. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited. Definitely to play. Be, it's something close to my heart. But it's like a little bit off track of what we're going for, mm. but okay. it means a lot to me. Drew, we always like to close our interviews just with an open floor. I leave you to anything you want to say. If you want to rant about something, if you want to bitch about something, you want to share something, say uh, something, yeah. it's it's up to you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, everyone wants to bitch nowadays because it's, it's a tough time we're living in. But, you know, um, I just want to thank you, Pat, you know, and being very supportive. Like, you reached out to us, I think, and just yeah. kind of, you seemed into it. And that's Definitely. really important to me. It's like, I can ask everyone's opinion, like, Hey man, if you look at my band, check it out, you know, do some reviews and whatnot. I'm like, yeah, let me check it out. And they do it just off like their kindness of their own heart. Mm-hmm. But you like reached out to me and I was like, hey man, I like your stuff. I want to talk to you. And I'm like, that means a lot to me. Like, because I, I think art is one of these things where I wish we could all get more into it because it brings everyone together. Because it's like, yeah. I feel an emotion and I want you to feel what I feel. Definitely. And I was able to do that. And like, that's what this is about. Yeah. Is it make someone else understand the feelings that you have. Connecting. Yeah. That's, I keep saying like I'm this all this political BS that's going on, man, we can set all that aside because music's like the big unifier, yeah. man, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. we can talk and discuss and, like, disagree and agree and, like, connect on, like, ideas and concepts, but, like, it's very hard to connect on emotion. And yeah. I think music helps that. Yeah. And that's kind of why I enjoy doing it. Definitely. Well, this is Dragon with Metal Nexus. My guest is Drew Smith from Arcaris. Great band. Get out and see them live. Buy their discounted album at this time. Yeah, yeah, sure. And all that. So, and we are out. <laughs>